Welcome back guys and in this video we're gonna have a quick look at the Google developer tools in Google Chrome browser so that you can debug your JavaScript with ease. So let's get started. Now the Google developer tools is a topic in itself and I can keep go on and on talking about it. So in this video I'm gonna keep it very brief and sweet and I'm gonna give you just enough of information for you to get started with debugging JavaScript. As we progress through the course, we are going to use the rest of the features of the Chrome debugger as well. And as and when they come up, I'm going to introduce new features to you. So developer tools are offered by Google Chrome by default. And all you need to do is just go to the required website which you want to debug. In this case, I have the google.com default website opened up. And in order to launch my debugger tools, all I need to do is right click on my browser window and go to inspect. The moment I click on inspect, the developer tools are gonna to open up. Now, there are different sections over here. And if you're already familiar with HTML and CSS, you know that when you click on elements, you can browse through different DOM elements on this browser. And then you can also look at which element has what styles applied to it. Now, this is an important area in order to debug your HTML and your CSS code. But in case you want to debug your JavaScript code, we need to look at the second element. The second element that I'm talking about is the console. So this is the JavaScript console and you can easily debug your JavaScript in this console itself. So you can type in short JavaScript programs within this console as well, and the console will run them for you. But for now, I'm not going to go into the details of each of these elements. All I want you to understand and know right now is how you open the development tools on Google Chrome and how you can access the elements as well as the console. So once again, the elements tab shows you the entire HTML structure and the computed styles or the styling attached to each of these elements. And if you go to the console, this shows you the JavaScript console. We are definitely going to deep dive into the development tools, but we are going to do that in a very step by step manner so that you're able to understand the importance of each and every tool that is integrated into this entire suite of Chrome developer tools. Another nice feature that I want to pinpoint here before I end this video is that you can mount your Chrome developer tools anywhere on the screen, wherever you want to. So if you're comfortable having these Chrome developer tools mounted or docked to the bottom of the screen, you can do that. And if you click on these three dots here, and these are the various options available to you. So you can mount them on the left or even you can detach it completely from the window. I prefer it keeping on the right hand side and this is how you're going to see it throughout the rest of the videos. So that's it for this video guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.